Hello everyone, I'm Elder Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me in our attempt to make the Kingdom of God a real place in the Wastes. Right now, we are pretty much picking up where we left off last time, as we are now at war with the Pharaohs, and Eastport is coming to kill us. Or no, actually, we declared war on them. Pharaohs is trying to come kill us. Also, I did ask you guys in the last episode if... I should have a particular name for the army of Joshua Graham. And we had a lot of good names, but eventually I chose Flaming Seraphims. So, that is what it'll be for now in the time. Maybe he'll be a field marshal. I don't know. We'll see what happens, actually. Uh, actually, we have another full field marshal army here. Uh, let us see. The Purifying Light. There we go. Another good one. The purifying light. Awesome. So, right now, we are in a little bit of a panic. I'm also joined here by my cat, Binky, who is having his little moment. Cool. Alright, Binky, you can sit down in the chair and be quiet for the rest of the video. So, last time we went to war with these guys, initially our attacks weren't very good. But, I've decided to manually control everything this time. Very good. Now, obviously, I have no divisions up here. I am sending my canoes back, the holy tsunami canoes, and I am rushing divisions to the north, pretty much. I have requisitioned some soldiers from our friends down a little bit south in the other parts of Utah, and that should be good enough to help hold the line, at least, the very least, is to help hold the line. We've lost Twin Falls, we're going to lose a little bit here and there. Things happen, you know, things happen. Go home, guys, go home. Our soldiers will be taking a little bit of time to get up north. Which is not ideal, but it is what it is, and there's nothing I can do really about it. All right, Bank, you're back here. Oh, good, we took that tile. Glorious. Now, my goal is to slowly come through Mountain City territory, Eastport territory, and have a good time with them. Now, I don't want to forget, I'm leaving a full army stack down here, because you never know what the NCR might do. My Iron Alliance campaign, no, not my Iron Alliance campaign. In my other campaign, when I, maybe it was Iron Alliance campaign, but when I was over here, I accident, accidentally let all of the NCR in, and that wasn't a very good idea. Actually, if anything, we have some bricks we can use now. If anything, because the NCR is a growing faction, they also have the Desert Rangers in there. So, just in case, let's pause it. We're going to make a fallback line. There you go. Ah. Good. Mercy's Hounds. Um, throw you right there. You will be destroying these enemy divisions over there. I have sent, hopefully sent, my Spec Ops divisions or my Mormon divisions, some of them, up this direction. Twelve divisions there. Some divisions have made it to the front line already. Great, great, great. And right now, we have to rename this. The Sword of Mormonism. And we have the Truth Seekers. Who will aid us in our fight against these heretical, so-called Christians. They call themselves Christians, but are they really? No, of course not. They are just heretics cosplaying as Christians. That's right, they're cosplaying. Even in 2280, we still cosplay. Uh, let's see. Deus Vault. Hmm. Let our soldiers get rearranged a little bit first. Alright. You can attack that way. You can attack that way. Send half of your divisions to attack this way as well. Good. And how much damage we're doing? Not a ton. A good amount, but not a ton. Good, you guys have arrived down here. That's great. You're holding the line over there. And we've rushed our divisions over here. To the point where I think we'll be doing okay here. If you guys could move up, we can encircle and destroy. Okay, maybe not. Go ahead and hold. Just hold for now. That's all that needs to happen. Hold, hold, hold. Um, I know they're intellectual. And they're pharaohs. They have enough, enough manpower, so they must be out of equipment. That is a good thing. 
now 140. Come down to 25 for now. Do that. We could use a few more planes. Because I need you to do work. Um, actually, I could use another airbase right here. Uh, that airbase was taken out. There we go. Here's what we're going to do. Here. More airbase. And we're still building up a lot more infrastructure. Um, 110. Wow. Wow. That's the most infrastructure I've ever seen in a video. Holy cow. Do that. And we still need to build some more power generators. Good. You guys are doing a great job. Great, great job. Ah, oh, the Burned Man. Joshua Graham becomes the leader for the People's Party. And we get better stats. Or we can justify on enemies faster. So, I think that we could use the Armories of God next. The hands of God require arms. And it is with fervent zeal and piety. We will construct factories to arm our soldiers. Absolutely. If God wills it. Charles Stone sounds like a great place to attack next. Can you attack this way? Yes, you can. Uh, what are we missing? Anti-tank. Oh, we need anti-tank. I don't have any anti-tank. Who uses anti-tank? I'm not making APCs. Mercy's Hounds. Spec Ops? No. Holy Clergy? No. Well, maybe some of my puppet divisions are using anti-tank, but they cannot get to it. Oh, are you guys done? And You are still repairing. That is fine. Take your sweet time. That is okay with me. Good. You guys are still doing okay. Keep them injured. Keep them busy. As we are waiting to build this area up over here a little bit more. These plans are doing a great job getting more XP. Destroying enemy divisions around here. Uh, we are going to slowly, slowly maneuver ourselves to make sure that we win this war. That is our goal. We must maneuver strategically. Because the Lord demanded in the last video that we struggle. And we did struggle. And that's okay. The Lord said, struggle makes you stronger. Now we're going to struggle this direction to see if we can pull any weight this way. Because infrastructure, my goodness, it sucks. Struggling builds character. And what a Mormon needs is good. Good. Christian character. But my goodness, it's infrastructure is really not bueno. Um, I could scavenge for stuff. I'm okay with that. We're getting the armories of God. We are getting... Oh, they're actually attacking us. Interesting. Interesting. But they are no match for a good Christian army. No, 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 no. Uh, we have taken back Twin Falls. And it is time to expand into enemy territory. With Patrick B. Leading the helm and the defense on in the northwest. Ow, I just might have bit my lip. Oh well. If God wills it. Tally ho, soldiers. Tally ho. Joshua Graham. Well, he's leading another army right now. Someday. Someday soon. Oh. Just in case you eventually come up here. Good. Patrick B. Up. Something always happens whenever you get a new general. He always falls ill, surprisingly. They are attacking quite crazily. Industrial fertilizer? I love it. Good. Mmm. Mmm. I need... Oh, I need a lot of... Do I need to do a lot of things. I need logistic companies. Definitely need those. I need a lot more support companies, actually. They are actually doing a fair amount of damage to us. Come, my Tarwalkers. You are strong. You can hold... The music might be a little bit too loud. 
Oh well. Doing well over there. Is there are they so connected? Hmm. Good. Oh, we cannot pierce them. That is unfortunate. Ah, oh, Joshua Graham. Good. You, oh, you know, I'm going to do that. He's got three more slots. And he he's level seven. Jesus, Joshua Graham. Oh, good. Losses in our wars. We've lost 96 men. We have only 54 days worth of energy cells. And the enemies have lost quite a few. That is good. That is good. Equipment? Good. I need more resources, too. What are we missing? Anti-tank. Wait. I researched logistic companies instead of anti-tank. Not my smartest move. But sometimes we have the big dumb on occasion. And that's okay. It might be a blessing in disguise. Oh, good. Good. Let them struggle against us. Their struggle will be met with the sword. Or in this case, the firearm. Oh, you guys can move straight on up. Evander. I'm going to actually position you to move this direction. Move west. They will not suck up nearly as much supply now, which is a good thing. Better supply, we can infiltrate the pharaohs from this direction. How many divisions do the pharaohs have? Oh, wait, they're fighting the... Tar oh, yeah, they're fighting everyone here, yeah. My puppets as well. Division's not bad, they got a good amount of manpower. We, have we are beginning to spread through to get to new thieves. Glorious. They really don't like me here. Oh, coffee is glorious. The good old Mormon coffee. Thomas Price, level 5, a little bit injured. Is there anywhere that we could potentially attack? Yes. As we should keep an eye on energy cell usage. That'll be important to do. Am I there? All right, well, you tried to attack very unsuccessfully. Darn. Oh, actually. Give him more men, more planes up here. Ooh, an airbase. Crush them. How? Ooh, if we get new thieves, that probably won't be enough to do what we need to do. And it looks like I'm probably going to have to reorganize this line here. So, you... Come over here. You... Come over here. Oscar Clayton. Good to meet you. Oh, I don't have enough command power. Go ahead and reform your lines. Once we get this area down, the north will be fine. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Surprised they aren't attacking down here, kind of, actually. The armories of God. Righteous arms, it is a time of holy war. Our citizens become less important than our army as we seek to bring the tribes of Utah under the banner of God. Good. Get organized, men. Oh, and they're still attacking us. Good. If that is the case, we shall rain holy fire upon the enemy. Alright, Oscar. Prove your mettle. This is disappointing, but that's okay. The rest of the battles seem to be going at least okay.
energy cells. Hmm. Go ahead and throw those extra divisions on there for now. Very nice job. Very nice. Good. Oh, goodness gracious. We don't have that many more days left of energy cells. You are down there. I'm going to put plop you right there. Reorganize yourselves, men. Or, there you go. Ah, uh, Frank. Oh, good. An infantry expert. I don't have stuff for that. Hmm. How about... Dogs are good. Pioneer kits can probably come to the bottom. That looks good. Good. Eight days. Eight days, guys. Eight days. There goes New Reno. Taking out the Antelope Tribe, the Free Fighters declare war on the Eagle Cult. Interesting. Now we must be careful. We are running out of energy cells. The Pharaohs is... They're actually quite close to capitulation, even though they just lost new Thebes. That's a case. Go ahead and build this area up. We could use the infrastructure. Oh, their NCR goes to war with Kaisar's Legion. That looks pretty good to me. And we have a basic generator, which we will begin immediately producing. And a good location. New Canaan, obviously. Follow it up with Soda Springs. And then Green River, and anywhere else, Area 51, that's right. And we are pretty much out at this point of energy cells. I could potentially make an encirclement here. Salvaged APCs, good. Go ahead. I could go to war for Adivan, but I'm thinking not. Let's go ahead and do this. Disciples of God. I need this right now. Actually, throw those fire teams on them, why not? Spec Ops, yeah, you definitely need those bad boys. Mercy's Hounds. Yes, please. I have a lot of army XP. Go ahead and do that. That's fine with me. Uh, and we had more than enough support equipment to do that. And Mexico's on fire. Holy crap, it's really on fire. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, Kaisar, you're dying. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. No, oh, Kaiser. If anything, please do not have a civil war. The NCR is actually pretty weak. Then again, they did have like a four-way civil war. Something tells me... Oh, they're not scraping the barrel. That's not good. Great cons. Out of manpower. Yeah, Kaiser, you've got to do something. It's not looking good for you right now. All right, it's time for you to shine. Darn, can't do use him yet. Ooh, energy cell gain. Oh yeah, I have to do that. All right, go ahead, my friends. This l little light of mine. That is the army name. A great army name, if I do say so myself. 
Costa Cafenada was annexed. All right. Can you do anything here? And then immediately destroy this one division. Still mobilizing more manpower. Do not let them move. Do not let them move. All right, over here. Back to this front. All but one will attack this direction. All but one will also attack that way as well. Good. You guys should have it. Uh, Eastport, you are looking weak. You are out of manpower. If I tell my generals to go with a full plan attack, they should be doing relatively okay. Maybe not perfect in every tile, but they should be able to conquer anyone in their path. Oh, divisions. William or Wilburn? Hello, Wilburn. Good. Actually, who was a general that had infantry stuff? There he is. That's our boy. Oh, god dang it. We actually killed them down here before we killed them over here. That's not good. So, this is okay. Uh, just a re moving around of divisions. You've been relocated, Oscar Clay. Let everyone get reformulated, and then you will have a giant push. A giant push. Oh, there goes the Troll War in the Washington Brotherhood. Good, we're doing well over here. Relatively well. Losses, 503 versus 5,000. Not bad, not bad. This is disappointing, because I do want to kill off Kaisar's Legion, but I will kill off anybody that needs to be killed off. Killed off, especially New Vegas. Especially the Nevada Pact. Oh, antelope tribes are holding out for now. Hmm. Alright, we're doing okay. Not great in some locations. Alright, very good. They should capitulate very, very soon. Over here. Deus vote, my men. Righteous Arms. Multi-purpose equipment. The weapons of God. God. He granted us the gifts of more powerful weapons before the war. And we should use them in our army. Let no gift of God be unappreciated. We can now use more advanced weapons. Double bonus for 30% for infantry tech. Not bad. Flexible designs. Absolutely. Energy cells not looking good, but it will look good in time. In time, my friends, in time. Oh, we are on export focus. That is a no-go. That is definitely a no, no, no-go. East port is so close to falling. It ain't even funny. Take Mountain City. Put these heathens in their place. Ah, oh, good. Crush them. For the vermin they are. Cool. Awesome. Great. Do we get any resources? We got a little bit of cir components, circuitry, composite materials. No energy. Of all things that I need, we did not get more energy. I am a little, a little disappointed. Oh well. Such is life as dictated in the Bible. Mm. Next up, Joshua Graham. Thank you. You guys are doing a great job. You guys can move over here now. Extra factories, or one extra factory. Nothing here yet. Go ahead and just keep plopping them on Pioneer Kits for now. We'll be fine. Good. Now, we have a war goal against who and when. December 7th from Grabber Territory. Grabber, I hardly know her. The Lord knows her. Violently kicking the generator. What does that do for them? Ooh, I smell energy. The dogs of Christ smell energy, and they are hungry for it. Oh, also, you are a very pretty good template. You guys are the not great template, so 
Only the best can serve God. Get ready, men. 50. Do one more in area 51. We have a small, small stockpile of energy. Very, very small. Very small. Ah, oh, pharaohs. How you are so disappointing. You just attack me in my moment of vulnerability. And yet you still cannot capitalize on it effectively enough. Pathetic. The Lord is ashamed of you so-called Christians. If you're going to take advantage of somebody, you better do it well. Ah, uh, Eagle Cult was annexed. Good. Alright, men. How about the... With the planes that you have? With the equipment that you have as well? And the manpower that they're losing? We've lost 500. They've lost over 2,000. Good. Are we poised to strike? Not yet. Very soon, though. Very soon. But we must make sure that we have enough energy cells so we can use a few planes. Looking good. My goodness. When is this going to get completed? 22 days. 22 days. 30 days. We're making about 39 energy cell gain a day. That's good. That's not bad. It could be much better. Could I trade for energy cells? Or energy in general. How about water? The tar walkers say yes, of course. Scrap metal? The tar walkers have also said yes, as well as the crazy horns. Oh, actually, I don't need that. Or do I? No, I don't. Circuitry? Eh, for the dead horses. From the dead horses. Not really worth it. Ooh. Thank you. And thank you. We have more water to drink. Glorious. Alright. If anything, we are poised to strike and do well. Will they attack me? No. And that is good. For we can attack them. Thomas? Do you have an upgrade? Yes! You're adaptable. I love... Your keen sense of abilities, Thomas. Um, since we have soldiers down here, I don't mind using y'all. There you go. Pretty good. Honestly. Soldiers might just benefit from just attacking in general. Good. And it will be my goal very soon to annex one of these tribes. Probably. Most likely. What would be the best place to do so? The Tar Walkers have a lot of energy. They've done very well. The Crazy Horns, if I would annex them, they don't have a lot of resources. Well, and we must check one other thing. They are on all adult serve with a lot of manpower, while the Tar Walkers are also on all adult serve with less manpower. So it looks like I should probably annex the Tar Walkers. Ex export focus. I can't go to limited? I lose construction speed, research time, factory output. So be it. I need my resources. God demands that we produce. And reproduce. Now we're cooking. We are cooking big time now. Oh, we lost something here. We should have more than enough firepower at this point to kick out these guys from their homes. Um, the range isn't great, but we have more than enough range here for now. They're doing great. We are getting more energy. And our allies want to do that. Tarwalkers, I hope you will become more and more ready to be annexed. And in time, my, can I build stuff in your lands? Nothing says annex me like building airports. Anti-air? Not really. Forts? Not really. Civilian workshops? Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, outpost Quinn. And we must also begin to justify on another enemy. So, our goal is to get to the League of Civilized States to get to the Nevada Pact. That being said, we could probably grab the Ruby Valley Refuge to enlarge our border with those so-called civilized states. Give us some time, and we will be okay going to war with these guys. A little bit more time for more, a little bit more political power. We will stretch far north 
into some places that they call I de ho. Good, 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 good. The Troll Warren and the Brotherhood are duking it out now. And it looks like the Troll Warren might be winning, maybe? How is their current kerfuffle? Brotherhood Warren War. Okay. Yeah, I would definitely say that the Troll Warren are not doing too bad. Maybe not great, but not too bad. And here, volatile explosives. Kaboom, my friends. Kaboom. Put you up there. There you go. We're making anti tank. And that's okay. We don't have no template at the moment. Oh, Kaiser. Kaiser, why? If Kaiser dies, I might go to war with the NCR. Maybe, maybe not. If I don't have to, I might not. I mean, you don't have to kill. I don't have to kill the NCR in every single campaign I do. It's fine with me. Sometimes God says. You don't need to kill your enemies. Because they can be saved on their own accord. But my god. We must take out New Vegas and New Reno. Some would say that they're like the biblical Sodom and Gomorrah. Good. Took those guys out faster than we did the pharaohs. In time, we shall be adding more resources. Beautiful. And even to the Grand Canyon. A canyon so grand it must be massive. Cool. 24 of you guys come on down south here. I will concentrate you soldiers down there. Next up, let's grab 20 of these guys. Men of the Chalk. Oh, I forgot I even had divisions down here. Well, nope. Good. Oh, that, oh, that's it. Good. And good. Glorious. Everyone has logistic companies. They don't use a ton, a ton of supply. And I love it. We're going with scrap tanks. We will have tanks before the end of tomorrow's video, which will be great. Ooh, armor plating. Yeah, I'll take that. Happy 2281, everyone. In the year of our Lord, we are doing a great job. Let us go ahead and start justifying on the Ruby Valley Refuge. Their armies. Fairly strong, not incredibly strong, but fairly strong. They have a small reserve of manpower, but we will see what happens ultimately, of course. Army of Christ, good. You guys are doing okay. Put some soldiers over there, put some soldiers over here. Idaho, the Baptists rest. Weapons of God, good. Ready for the Legion. It is undeniable that the Legion will take an interest in us, especially with Kaiser's greatest rival now in command. We must be ready to at least put up a good fight to get more attack and more population. Ah, oh, like a good Mormon, Mormon soldier should be ready always to fight for Christ. Resources. We need more anti-tank, and other than that, we are doing great. Resource-wise, we're still building up more energy generators, power generators. Even though the enemies in the Pharaohs are not giving up without a strong fight, they are going to crumble in time. It is just a matter of waiting them out. They starve, they die, they run out of equipment, their guns jam, they shiver in the cold in the mountains, freezing to death, because they were foolish to call a crusade against the true Christians. Terrible. Beautiful. Basic power plant. That would be great. If anything, we can also build another airport in Meadowopolis. Because you never know when we might need uh, another airbase to launch 
attacks from. Never know what God has in store for us. Oh, Kaisar, you had so much potential. Mexico, not even going to comment. Trollworn, looking not bad. Antelope Tribes, you're giving New Reno one heck of a run. And they have perished like their Egyptian predecessors. Crushed under the rock of God. Under the soldiers that is our lord. Cool. Next up, who are we going to war with? Ah, Ruby Valley Refuge. That's good. That's good. And you know what? Just in case, you never know what might happen. Actually. I am going to re-adjust some of our soldiers. Right now, these are from the Crazy Horns, which is fine. I'm going to throw you over here. Um, good. Let us extend our fallback line against the NCR, for you never know what they might do. Good, good, good. You all were a bunch of divisions I grabbed from uh, from the Tarwalkers. I will let you rest for now, perhaps. I want to make more soldiers like this. That would be good. You guys are good. You guys are good. Evander, you are doing great. But I will station you up in the north, just in case. You never know what the Northern League will be up to. If I need to, I can always move divisions around. Oh, Heaven's Gate. In time, you shall be very connected. Beautiful. Now this is an alliance worth fighting for. Now how much longer do we have until we can go to war with the Ruby Valley Refuge? About quite a few days. That gives us time to research, hopefully, our tank. Let's see. Land auction. Robots. No. Wasteland cars. Nothing here. Engineering. Reinforce rate. That's not bad. Industry isn't bad either. But we cannot go any further, for we are not advanced. So, let us perhaps begin thinking about better ships? Sails, perhaps? Anybody? Something to add on to these thousands of canoes that we currently use and are waiting for? Good. Now, my canoes, go ahead and train once again. All right, my apologies. Binky wanted out of the room because he was hungry. <sighs> More of these divisions. You know what? I love these divisions, and I will use them in time. In time. And let's let time go on. The Mormon Jesuits. I believe that was a good name for those fellows. Go ahead and start making a new... Uh, what do you call it? Task Force. Yes, new Task Force. Level 3. Not great, but not bad. Could be much worse. Could be much, much worse. Train. Ah, yes. Good. 12. These are pretty good divisions. These ones are okay. Good, good, good. What are we building? We could build more stuff here. Um, oh, yes. Another factory, perhaps. More factories. More factories in our puppet. They deserve more factories. We have quite a bit of army XP. The Chichen it's an Empire declared war on the remnants of Petro Chico Corp. They're not having a good time, and that's okay with me. Uh, oh, the Republic of the Rio Grande is no more. And let us take a quick look. That is not Kuwait. Kuwait. I don't know, but it looks like it's snowing. Kuwait. Wars right now. Before we end this episode. The League of Civilized People. No casualties. Kaiser's Legion suffered 71,000. NCR has not lost too many soldiers. Let's see. The Brotherhood Warnware. 3,000 versus 9,000. Not bad. 
Chichen Itza, Mexico. Well, they're Mexico. Uh, Legion Yakuza. Yeah, we, we saw that one. New Reno. Antelope Tribes. Wow. 11,000. Holy cow. And the Brotherhood. Yeah, we saw that one. Cool. Now we have another slot. Grenade Rifles sound like fun. Specialized Doctrines also sound like fun. There's a lot of things that sound like a lot of fun. But we must abide by what we need first. Let's go with that first. Speed up time a little bit more to finish off at least this last focus. If I don't take out Kaiser's Legion, that's fine with me. Because at, I want to at least get through to the Kingdom of God in this campaign and finish off the other focuses. So, Good, good, good. We are training a holy number of boats with very few that need repairs. Very, very good. Ah, uh, yes, yes. If you need more, go ahead. Arroyo. Arroyo. Now that's a weird move, Arroyo. Why did you go to war with these guys? Ready for the Legion, though. We are ready for the Legion, and we can do the Kingdom of God. God has seen fit to name us a successor of Israel. The Great War was a test, a cleansing of the unfaithful that gave way to New Canaan. God's kingdom must be restored on earth in the region of what some would say as Utah. And with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below. And I will see you all tomorrow. And I hope you all have a great, great Mormon day.